I just gotten used to putting the the one after the 20, 2019, 2011. You can still put a one after it. You just have to squeeze a two in the middle. I just, I just that's right. I guess you're right. So I mean, should I, I see a, a changing screen share right now, or is this uh, supposed to be static? Uh, you should. I'm just taking, uh, uh, writing down the attendance. Uh, ah, okay. To the, yeah, sorry. Uh, and because I thought we might have another person or two, so we have a total of six people. Uh, but I think we have quorum of editing people. Hi, <laughs> Peter. Hi, Thomas. Okay, so let, I think we have a bunch of really small, low-hanging fruit here. Dave, did you get a chance to look at any of these other ones? Yes, you did. Any objections to this change? You want me to go to the issue? Good practice to go to the issue. I think the change is fine. Okay. So let's. But yes, it's a good practice to go to the, or read the issue before. Wait. Delete. Delete. That's what it does. Okay. So next there. The verifier uses the evidence and any endorsers from endorsers, endorsements from endorsements, and the verifier uses the reference values. It sounds like a kind of a song we should be singing. Uh, reference values, reference values providers, any objections? I'm fine. I, I approved. Hello, Sarah. Uh, okay, that was the ticket we closed. Uh, retrieval. Ooh. Conditional release of con confidential data. So that's the major change is that we changed yeah, the you see, um, section uh, number. Yeah. And I agree with the rationale that uh, Waypan had put in, which is if you expand upwards, um, it's for consistency with the previous section. You can see that one is labeled confidential ML model protection. And then 225 changed to protection. And you can see 227 says this is a generalization of the ML model use case above. And so the generalization uses the same word as the more specific one. I think it's a fine rationale. Wunderbar. <laughs> Dave and I at least will remember the series of commercials involving Vikings and a chocolate bar where the guy kept saying Wunderbar. <laughs> in in more musical tone. In a more musical tone, yes. Wunderbar. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, seriously. Okay. I don't think it yeah. got uh, got no. outside of. I don't think it. I don't think it got outside the 1970s, let alone North America. So right. <laughs> Nor would it probably deserve to. So there we go. Okay. Oh, that so, to me. Sorry. You'll have to look it up on YouTube, Hank. You know. I would. <laughs> Mom and Uncle Roger. Yeah. <laughs> Thank you for that one. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. That, that, Anyway, um, um, so, okay, so where is, this is the fixes 231, reduce verbosity in section five. There are multiple are slightly vague. So this is a proposal from Hank, which I think we'll see again in the pull request. So I won't belabor that point. We'll go to the where it says. So is uh, uh, Thomas's uh, refinement of my proposal reflected already in the PR? I am not sure. Thomas? I believe that Thomas Please. wrote the PR. So I would assume yes. Okay. 
Ah, yeah. Okay. I, did, I only did comments. Oh, how, how um, yeah, lazy of me. <laughs> okay. So I think Wade's comment here is pretty, I think is uh, maybe quite uh, pointed. I don't know. Is there, can you explain why it becomes basic to abstract, Thomas? Frankly, I, I can't remember that. I am fine with basic. So would we turn this back to basic then? Um, uh, yeah, I, I think I think the uh, pros and cons. I think very nitty comment. Uh, also, uh, sorry, nitty to change. The comment is good. Um, Actually, Dave, so I think Dave test this. Sorry, I already I missed that when I was. Let's cancel. Uh, so so the um, so the uh, I think Thomas and I were talking about unification a lot. Uh, during that phase and how how this uh, interoperability interoperability works and therefore it's more abstract and then unifying but yes uh, Wei has a good point on implementation view here I think uh, abstract seems uh, unimplementable uh, and so yeah so would there be an article here too I already updated it if you refresh it, it'll it'll show it you, you caught it okay no, I caught it as soon as you put it up on yeah there you go yeah there we go all right wonderful all right so let's add that yeah okay. Perfect. Yeah. We use the word models regularly, so let's consistently do that, I guess. Yeah, the red text used models, and you can see 613 to 614 where it wraps where it says some reference models. Yeah. And so I kept reference models, but if you want to insert the word interaction, I'm okay with that. I don't, I'm not asking for direction. If you want to delete that, that's okay with me too, but I left it. Um, although I think Hank, your document had labeled them reference interaction models. And so I thought it was fine to insert that word, but you can see in parentheses, it says topological models. And I don't know if we need both names. Yeah. So interaction models, uh, on the separate draft means for protocol interactions on an exactly. edge of the architecture diagram. Yeah, and, uh, right? yeah, exactly. So what you have uh -oh. here, topological models are a different least it's a higher level because it's edges between uh, boxes and not a single edge right so I, I right now i'm thinking this should just say what it said before which is reference models and not mention interaction or topological so I should say i'm not sure if increasing model. ambiguity is better um so what what are we talking about here this is about the uh, passport and um no no, no, no. No. Well, sorry, um, sorry, sorry. Yeah. sorry. Um, this is the bridge text, the the, uh, the the connecting text in between the data flow diagram and the two models, meaning passport and background check. And it's saying, oh, it's you know, the, it, it, it's it's preceding those, and it says previously we showed a data flow diagram, and now we're going to show two examples of how you can, you know, m map them to. Uh, you know, the next level down, if you will. Yeah, so I'm, I'm still a big fan of this composition concept. If that's too hard to squeeze in now because you see composition downstairs here. Yeah, the example, um, that's because there's a hybrid in there that shows an example of where you might use both of them simultaneously. And so that's the word composition is fine there. So reference composition models is therefore not a, a uh, would be incorrect. Right. Okay. And again, that's, uh, uh, I don't know if it's Thomas's or somebody else's word composition, but I thought that was fine there in 614. Mm -hmm. Okay. So we're happy with this change. Yeah. But I'm, well, I'm hearing that it's, we're not happy with this word model followed by topological models. That's what I heard. Um, well, I'm not enamored with it. Um, yeah, it, it, it is ambiguous. So, so again, maybe, maybe just, just skip the uh, interaction here. Okay, I just did an update to that comment. And I'm gonna do an update to the next comment too. So refresh a yeah. moment here. Yeah. Uh, oh, I, I need to move the comma up. So hold on a second here. I guess I should have done these in one comment instead of a separate comment for each line, but oh well. Um, okay, now please refresh. Yep. I think I got it. So reference uh, models as no, well as you have to refresh again because there should be a comma after the first one. There you go. Because there was a comma before in the bot in the six fourteen, I had to move the comma up to six thirteen. Yeah, yeah. You have to read the uh, 
blue light, blue <laughs> green lines and <laughs> yeah. yeah, do something else. <laughs> this one looks good. Okay. Okay, so commit suggestion as suggestion. Yeah. Um, uh all right so let me commit. was there another one or was that the last well there's another there's another another suge suggestion here uh <clears throat> from me but i want to i think it's a separate so i want to okay. Uh, okay do that there um why is that like and we have eric as uh uh as a join uh, for some reason one of the links showed me as a google meeting and i wasn't paying attention so <laughs> Oh yeah, did Google put did did Google put their meeting in? No. Oh yeah. Well, you have to fillet the yeah. actual URL always out of some arbitrary HTML fragments. So yeah. <laughs> oh, it looks like they. Yeah, if you do it wrong, then they, um, they like to insert their own meeting link because they're stupid. Um. Uh, sorry. So uh, change. Uh, description of coming sections. I don't know, but maybe. Okay, so then we're reduced what, where my comment disappeared. Oh, okay, so here's my suggestion. Oh, my suggestion overlapped the other one. And now it's outdated, so you have to redo it. Yeah, but I think it's also outdated in the sense that it's irrelevant. The discussion that follows is for illustrative purposes. There it doesn't look like you made any change there. You just inserted a line break in a different spot. Yeah, I agree. So let's just get rid of that. Okay, so that's what I thought that my change was. So that's the final change. Any objections? Okay. Um, I guess the only question that I would ask, and it's not a request for a change unless you guys think it is, but if you look at the very last word, it presented patterns. Is patterns the right word or is it models? What do you guys think? I like the concept that these are patterns. Okay, um, then we can leave it. Um, and but I agree that it's the first time we probably used that that way. Um, but yeah, that so that's a, that's a general problem. So we are talking about model. Mm -hmm. Model is a relatively overloaded term. Patterns is relatively unique to the yeah. whole text. Right. That's a final editorial pass that I would do in the end. I would raise the question. How we want to call this topological models or patterns in the end? So the the argument that I'll make in favor of patterns, which is why I said it's not a, a request for a change per se, unless you guys don't like it. Um, let's read 613, describing two reference models as well as one example composition thereof. So there's three sections, two reference models, and one composition. If you say mm -hmm. a pattern is a reference model or a composition, Mm -hmm. and you the, can't say it's equal to the models because the, the, the composition is another type of pattern. So that's why I think it's yeah. actually okay. Yeah, yeah but that means pattern. that the, level, uh, the sections should be called topological patterns because it includes no. models and compositions, right? Um, that's an interesting point. I, I hadn't looked at 608 before. Top yeah, that, that's had, it's, that would be the higher level thing. What's That's the higher level thing. It's a pattern yeah. in the taxonomy of terms, so it would be in the heading. I like that actually. I have no objection. Let me. If we deleted topological, I don't know if we need to change that too. But I, I'm okay with that. I, I signed up for for these kinds of consistency things as, <laughs> as the heavy file, so I will I will fix anything that is. Uh, yeah. This doesn't mean you're done now, right? Mm-hmm. <laughs> also, it's very true. <laughs> Oh. 
It didn't do it. Uh, there it did. Okay. It just okay. Gotcha. okay. Okay. I see. Right. Okay. Um, Okay, I did the, the associated ticket get closed? Uh, yes, it did. Okay. All right. And so we reload this. So let's go on to this, this, this. So let's read 229. Hard word watchdog is confusing. Yeah. Alice is right. I think this was a result of one part of the text changing and another part of the text not being updated to match it. Okay. And the change was. So this one is easier to see what Thomas is talking about if you expand upwards so you can see this other sentence to be consistent with. So, okay, there you go. Uh, you can see uh, line 292 is the one to compare 306 with. So I think this the suggested text is just... Right, I, I, I agree with your update, Michael. I think I plus one to you. Yeah. There you go. Okay. That just straight English grammar, but all right. Any other objections? Nope. Thank you, Thomas. If we're fixing. All right. Going on. Does GitHub have badges yet? Because I think, you know, we should all have the use magic GitHub work. <laughs> Achievement yeah, unlocked. Yeah. <laughs> I'm so doing this with my son. We unlock a lot of achievements. And I'm not kidding you. I'm playing Fortnite now. Fortnite now. I know what that is now. <laughs> Sorry, Fred. No, no. He's, he's actually surprised that I'm better than him yet <laughs> still. So so it, it might, might go away. My 15-year-old spent half of the break trying to figure out new and interesting ways to crash Minecraft. <laughs> and he, he, he did find a lot of interesting ways, and what was also satisfying is that he managed to not crash the computer it was running on. <laughs> you know, is actually my compute, you know, compile server. That's why it has all the CPUs, right? Composite. Anyway, anyway, um, here we go. Yeah, and I, when I upgraded it, I I neglected to buy the right uh, AMD processor, so I had no video video on the motherboard when i upgraded it like six months ago so i had to go buy a like a whatever it was a 16 core to you know thickness video card because that's the one i could order in overnight <laughs> so it's ridiculously you know it runs like eight monitors or something stupid anyway it's it's, it's just a ridiculously overpowered thing point the choice of models generally up to the relying party Okay, and the fix here. Uh, the choice of model depends on the use case and that different applications may use different models will still interact with the same the tester or verifier. So I have two problems with this text. Uh, and so my second comment overrides the first one. 
or at least meaning if you agree with the second one, then the first one is moot. They're, they're separate points. Yeah, I, 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 I saw your point, and I said, "Well, yeah, but it, it, it's a bigger, it's more than the relying party. It's the bigger, bigger context." So, what you're proposing is to just delete this. Then, is that right? What you're proposing? Well, if you want to reword it, you can reword it. But my point is that uh, if you don't make a choice that's consistent with the relying party's decision, it's not going to work. Yeah, I just think of the relying party as being embedded as part of the the bigger application scope. Um, but I, I, I both see your point and I see why it's the wrong words. Yeah. So I, 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 I'm not trying to defend the original word. I'm just trying to say the original word is better than this one. So uh, if you want to fix it, we can still try to fix it or improve it or whatever. But uh, um, we got to keep that in mind. Is all I'm saying. I would go for just rejecting it. Other opinions? I mean, Thomas is on the call, so I don't. I think it was Thomas's suggestion. So, I mean, I think I think the original is is not correct. So keeping it there is uh, as is is not is not the right. Is not so, the what right do you thing. think is incorrect? I mean, maybe it could be improved, but what is incorrect about the original? Well, the fact that this is, it is up to the relying party is not just that, right? It, and the relying party is something that exists in the in the wider context of an application. So, um, I mean, on what you mean by application? If the relying party is a web server, what's the application? Is the web is the application the is the application uh, uh, web access, which includes both the browser and the web server, or would you say the web server is the application, or the browser is the application? It just depends on what you mean by application, right? So, I mean the whole thing. And not just just one part. Yeah. So use case then not application, which I think was uh, uh, Michael's or somebody else's point. Use case is uh, better than application. Well, we just use the word use case over here. Yep. And the different use cases may use different models. Yep. But the, while still interacting with that point is not correct. I, I kind of like the relying parties. And, and I also might point out that uh, since we used the word pattern earlier, uh, should we be using it here too, instead of models? Um, depends on which point we're trying to make, meaning both points could be correct depending on how it's phrased, meaning the choice of pattern is you depends on the use case and the choice of model I believe is also inherently the relying party is inherently involved in the choice of model. So, because I, I like patterns better, because um, when you talk about variations mm -hmm. on the models, you know that starts to pattern starts to be the more correct yep. word, right? Uh -huh. And uh, and I, I like the relying parties better because it's a more uh, general notion and more tied to the actors in attestations, where applications is way too general and can mean anything to anybody. Mm -hmm. um, so I'm fine with that, although I think the point about using different patterns while still interacting with the same uh, tester, I still find that concept either somewhere between confusing and incorrect. So maybe the word isn't same, but similar. No, it's, it's I mean, They're different. In, in my... In my... What one is an attester? So if you're using one one if you're using background check, then you're talking to a testers that send you evidence. If you're using passport, right. you're talking to a testers that send you um, attestation results. They're different. Well, yeah, I see. I see that point. That's why I'm trying to say and, what I'm trying to say is yeah. that it could it could be that the same code base can actually uh, deal with with both for different relying parties because it's been configured right. But it might be that it doesn't do that for the same interaction. Right, but I don't think there's anything else in here that's talking about an implementation doing multiple of them. Although that the well, point it, is really true. It, it, it might be that a, an attester is uh, in different 
use cases or for in support of different patterns, expecting different kinds of evidence. And the choice of the pattern dictates what evidence is there. And so it's the same as tester, but it has the variability built into it to pro provide different kinds of evidence depending on what it's doing. And sure. I think, that's, you said, I think that's you said a tester topic. at one point where you meant relying party, but I agree with your point. If you're saying that if I'm an application no, I, like, you know, a browser or something, and I'm talking to different relying parties that expect different types of evidence, then I may have to send them the different evidence. Yeah, but I'm saying also yeah. that a tester might have the ability to present different kind of a tester or different kind of evidence, depending on what kind of pattern it's participating in. So right. if, if you... If you allow the tester to have that variability in the same way that you allow, allow a relying party or even a verifier to have that variability, then I, I, the point that's being made makes perfect sense. So, but it's really the verifier that has different behavior in the different pattern. The attester is probably similar, even if it provides different evidence. I am not convinced of that. I think I, I agree with Peter's point. I'm not sure. I can't prove that you're wrong, so that you're, you might be right. It might be. It depends. I don't know. Um, but I can imagine verifiers that have no clue whether you're using background check or passport. They just take in evidence and send back attestation results. And whether it's a relying party or an, or an attester sending it to them, does it really matter? So, so what is the point of this this sentence that I put in the parenthesis? Why not just remove it completely? What would we lose? The the thing that I was trying to the that I was trying to make my. Placing that that text there is that you, you can have the same entity that does uh, some kind of processing, uh, some verifying processing or some attesting processing, while interacting using different interfaces, uh, a background check one or a, uh, a passport. Right. But these are interfaces. Is not is not the fact that the business logic that is done there is uh, uh, is done by a different entity. Is the same entity that that handles the payloads, except it. It you know uh, it receives and 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 forwards stuff using different interfaces. That's it. Okay. Uh, right now, I'm convinced that I like Michael's suggestion the, to remove the the parentheses. It's a it's actually not worth pointing out because it generates more confusion than it helps. Maybe the rest of the document should be clear for the reader to draw that conclusion for themselves. Ooh. Okay. Feel free to disagree or whatever, but I, I, I actually kind of like Michael's suggestion now that I, I heard it. Sarah, any comments from you? Well, I don't think that the it matters. Uh, you, the the verifier might know what kind of model it is. So I think that keeping it open is better. Sarah, go ahead. I think I I agree with the wording, but if if you want to delete it, I think that would be okay. I agree with what Pete was saying earlier. Yeah, so I, I, I would just assume keep it, but uh, I'm not going to argue against the whole group if you want to delete it. Because I, I think it is an important point because of, of this idea, and, and it's it goes right to the heart of the why we're, we're using patterns instead of models. You know, there's all kinds mm -hmm. of different variations that might be possible that we would not want to stifle uh, any kind of realization. We want mechanisms that are able to deal with that variability. So I think that the point, I'm just trying to expand here, this is a combination, this is describing combinations. Um, and I think that the point, I think the point is supposed to be that you don't have to inter invent new protocols and new ways of conveying evidence because you've decided to have a different pattern. Exactly, that's, that's exactly right. That is the point. Maybe, maybe what if it says while still using the if same. It, if you're going to go along the lines of keeping the sentence, then you should change the choice of model to the choice of pattern. Actually, it depends on whether oh. this appears before or after the other word pattern. If there's, as long as oh, we put it in the section file, it should be after. It's after. Yeah. After. All right. So I would agree with the choice of patterns. So what about this? What about instead of saying that while using the same interactive or uh, interactive I, I, I do not know 
uh, under this phrasing, then it's not correct to focus on relying parties. If you change the meaning of the phrase, it is correct to focus on the relying party. Mm -hmm. But with this one, when you say who's going to use the pattern, the user of the pattern is not the relying party. It's just a member of the pattern, right? My point earlier is that uh, you have to have one that's consistent with what the relying party thinks, or it doesn't work, right? Um, and the you know, relying party, I might argue, is is unique to that, although maybe that would be true for the attester too. I don't know. I have to think about it. But here, if we focus on who can use stuff, it's not relying parties. I think that the relying party um, mostly gets to specify the topology or the pattern that he expects. So he's in charge from that point of view, at least from a business point of view, right? He says this is the put, this is the interaction that I expect, and uh, use it. But the 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 thing that I I thought the sentence was trying to get at is that despite having different patterns, there are still commonalities. So uh, if we keep relying parties, then we probably have to change pattern back to mod, mo model. This is partly all why I think it's actually easier to remove the sentence, but and that's because we already said an example of a pattern is the hybrid where the relying party is using background check and the attester is using passport, and you can still make it work, right? Mm -hmm. uh, as long as the, as long as you're doing it right, I mean, you can st construct a pattern where the relying party does not know that there's a, that there's a uh, a uh, passport model on the other side. He doesn't actually know that. And so in that sense, it's a choice of model that the relying party makes, not a choice of pattern, because he doesn't actually get to know what the tester is doing. He might not even really know the model, because yeah. all he might be getting is the uh, attestation results and other evidence. So that's yeah. why I like the relying party being central to deciding which context yeah. it's consuming. Well, sure. it, it, needs, it needs to be both, right? I, and so the, I think the core concept is there needs to be agreement uh, of what it is. And, and and to say that the relying party is the superior party that gets to decide is really taking away the ability of an attester um, to have its own policy decide whether it should participate or not. And so... Um, yeah, it can decide whether to participate, but if it's going to participate, it has to send right. uh, messages that the relying party will accept. Exactly right. So, so there there has to be an agreement that says once we engage in this um, communication, this hesitation that we're going to do, that both sides have to know exactly what to produce and what to expect, right? And and, and how they how they. But isn't that just that normal? Exchange. Isn't that just normal protocol design? Which is why I said, well, if you delete it, then you're supposed to figure that out from the rest of the document anyway, because it's just normal protocol design. Is the, the sender always have to send a message that the receiver will accept? I, I, I think that again, the reason why I want to 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 keep it in okay. is to make it clear that where you don't want to prescribe that in this model this is what has to happen, right? There's a, a um, variability in terms of what the exact pattern is that you might want to engage in, and and then once the pattern is chosen, what evidence will be pre, uh, presented using that pattern. Uh, so, so having the, some of the words in there that suggest that that variability is possible on either end. Um, and that there needs to be agreement is really, I think, the point that's important. Okay. Actually, to I say, mean, in, in our, this. this is not in the context of this work here, but um, this is why we've concluded that there really needs to be a negotiation facility to have both parties involved and have more complex things possible. Um, and so that's outside of what we're talking here, but there largely needs to be that. And whether it's uh, in a given use case prescribed to say this is what model we're going to use um, or whether or not it's discovered during an active uh, attempt for a resource uh, request, um, either way is, is okay. So that next, next sentence says that essentially the same device may need to create evidence for different relying parties or different use cases. Yep. Okay. So actually, we might want to change use cases here uh, because we're trying to change it up here. Or patterns, but uh, actually, you've just made a point that says if we delete the previous sentence, how much of Peter your point is still made by seven twenty eight through seven thirty? And because uh, really, what we care about is only the only anything that's not covered by seven twenty eight to seven thirty. What's the delta? And we care about highlighting the delta. 
So I'm just going to hit update here so that we can kind of see it. And I'm going to just delete this. Because we don't have to repeat something that's already in 728 to 730. But if there's a delta, well, that point is kind of missing the following thing. And we want to focus on that to add. So where's the question you're asking? It's at the very bottom uh, of the screen here. Yeah, the yeah the bottom of the screen in white, the seven twenty eight through seven now seven thirty one. So, uh, no, just the first paragraph. Yeah, yeah, that part right there. So a lot of your point is covered in there, and the question is, uh, out of all the stuff you've talked about, which I agree with, um, a lot of what you've talked about is covered by those four lines. But maybe there's a point that's not in there, and if there's a point that's not in there, then that's what the sentence should say. Maybe it says, it's kind of the both models can be used sentence. by the same attester. It says that you may have to create different evidence for different relying parties. You may have to create different evidence for different use cases. Right? Those three points are in there. And I think you made all three of those points in the last five minutes. And 731 or the 730, 731 is maybe the biggest point. Both models may simultaneously be in use by the same device. Yeah. So you, this is, you know. Yeah. So those three, we're not talking about deleting that. Uh, nope. The question is, what you, we got those three points in there: the, the evidence for different line parties, evidence for different use cases, and both models by the same device. Those three points are in there. Is there a fourth point? And if so, that's what the sentence you say is whatever the fourth point would be. Because otherwise, we can delete seven twenty six and just replace it with what is it that's in addition to those three points? Um, I'm not seeing anything. Totally different right now. No. Okay. Then I would I would propose deleting 726 and just letting Peter's point stand in 728 through 731. So you'd propose removing this entire sentence. Uh right now it looks like it's redundant with 728 to 731. Meaning that the, the green text there looks to me yeah. like it's trying to say the same thing as we already say in the next paragraph. Well, the, the, the point is that the, the I think uh, 726 is that the relying party drives the topology. Um, it, that's the point. No, but it doesn't. It drives half of it. It drives whether it's going to use, whether it requires you to send it uh, attestation results or evidence. It right, does which, drive that. Okay. Yeah, it doesn't drive the, what happens on the attester side as to how you get that far. Yeah, well, yeah, so I understood, but the point is that the topology, whether it's a background check or a... Um, I, I'm coming on the very last word, which is patterns. We said patterns yeah. includes hybrid, which is things yeah, yeah. that the other side doesn't know about. If you change it back to models, then it's more correct as what you're saying, where the first part well, is but, the choice of model be, depends on the use case. But there could be, it could be uh, some combination. There could be like the teep kind of pattern, yeah. which double... Right. So yep. that's why I'm yep. saying that. But I think it's the relying party that determines. OK, maybe at a business level. OK. All right. Another, All right. I see what your point is. I get it. If you, don't, if you don't do what I tell you to do, then you don't get to play and a story. Right. Yeah, I, I, I can live with it as you have it, Michael. Uh, I, where, I, I get your point. Whereas the attester could say, oh, yeah, yeah, I can deal with all these different kind of things and I can deal with all these kind of things and someone needs to tell me what we're doing today and, and then I'll I'll produce the right evidence. Right. But. It, there, no, I, I understood your point after rereading it and listening to your point. I'm, I am fine with the green text. OK. All right. So I'm going to uh, commit the suggestion. And then mm -hmm. commit it. That's closed. Okay, fixes two, three, six. Need some work. Um, I was the person who put in the OPCUA stuff. I, if I understand the updated text, meaning the proposed new text, then I am fine with this. Other than you'll see, I made uh, I make one other minor uh, suggestion in the text. But if the point is 
you can make the same point without referring to the OPCUA and just referring to TLS in general. If that's the main thing, I'm fine with that approach. Um, OPCUA was in there just because it's something that's a custom protocol that is not TLS and still uses X509 certs. I actually prefer that reference myself, but... Um... Yeah, I, I, I was just uh, was susp uh, suspiciously specific <laughs> at some point. Yeah. So, but uh, I think you you removed the the, the encoding uh, references in any case and and flattened it even more. Was that correct, Dave? Am I remembering this correctly? Uh, sorry, I didn't realize you were asking me. Can you repeat your question? Uh, I, this, yeah. This so my I, I with my with, yeah, but 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 with the uh, with my mm -hmm. suggestion, yeah. uh, I think you 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 uh, uh, wordsmithed it, it again. And you removed some other uh, specificas that I uh, introduced, uh, and that is in the uh, green text now, right? Uh, the green text is not mine, so I can't comment on that. Uh, I can no, that's also mine. The red text because I did author the red text, and the red text again. The the uh, reason why OPC we was called out because it's a very commonly deployed protocol. It uses X509 certs, and it does not use TLS, right? It's the only one I can think of right now that uses X509 certs without TLS. Mm. Uh, I think there are a lot of protocols using X509 without yeah, yeah. being TLS. So, but, yes. it, but I think uh, all I'm saying is I, I think that the green text is fine other than uh, 1001. We might drop OPC UA so the RFC editor doesn't ask us to add the reference back in. Right. If right. we leave it there, we probably need to not drop it from the inform, in, informational uh, references. I, I would actually say that we just... I Move think it's actually a useful thing to reference it right okay. here. Yeah. And I would, that's how I would do it. I would not remove it from okay. the I, thing. I, 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 uh, yeah, I'm, I, okay. I, I'm, I'm not uh, voting for any kind of uh, uh, removal, <laughs> but I'm confused by it. It, it, it. Now, now, as a reader, I read it. I was like, okay, I have to look that up now. Everything else is like uh, uh, off-the-shelf items I know. OPC UA, wow. I might have to uh, now uh, look up. Uh, I actually know OPC UA better than I know OPC yeah, I know, I know. I'm, so I'm I would just have to look up 1X. So if yeah. you want to remove that, I could say, well, why don't we remove 1X too? So you never know. Oh, okay, okay, okay. Maybe I mean, it's with a uh, uh, subjective there's, any, there's no Sorry. citation for 802 1X. I don't know if that's an yes. RFC editor's list, but they're going to ask for a citation for 1X as well. Okay, so uh, that, uh, okay, yeah, you're right. This is uh, uh, levels, uh, layer specific, apparently. Um, I, I'm fine. So uh, I, if, if this... I do like having one X be in there because to your point, Hank, this points out that it is sort of layer independent, right? Because one X is a very low layer protocol by comparison to something like OPC UA, which yeah, is what, that's a point, way on exactly. top of, you know, TCP IP. I, uh, you know, I, I really like, I really like the fact that we've basically gone, you know, yeah. up and down the stack here. So this is applies yeah, all the place. And, uh, that's why I like the OPC UA on, I, I, Dave, I'm sure you know okay. it better than me, but I, I, was introduced to it in 2019 and uh uh actually i think they're going to go move to tls <laughs> but they aren't there yet i i i've wished they would for a long time but uh yeah i think they'll just adopt but, TLS. But right now it's uh the industrial equipment has you know a 10 to 15 year lifespan and so even if they were to go to it soon it wouldn't go away until you know 20 years from now yeah but but they would adopt tls 1.0 <laughs> I think you're saying it's a bad thing. So <laughs> I, I, I'm saying that they would adopt TLS, but it would they would still be 15 years old behind. That's yeah, what I'm yeah, trying yeah, to, yeah. to maintain that that, okay. that approach. So, but, Michael, you're suggesting we keep the reference text and, and then add the citation back into this line. Yeah. So right? I, I I would I would uh, yeah. So it would I don't know if we would. OPC UA, like that's what I would do. Then we have to fix the. And then you have reference. to right re, re, re put back in the red part up above. Yeah. So there's an inheritance uh, notion for um, uh, TLS CWT, uh, which I think is fine, uh, but that's also a little bit. This is like the experimental realm. So it's an example for. Where what is emerging here right now, right? So, so if that's the intent, I am fine with that. Or is there another intent here uh, for including the uh, uh, TLS certificate type in the uh, the text of two four one two four zero? 
I think you're complaining that we've just lost the references to JWT. No, no, no. If you scroll down to line, I thought it was moved. One o one ten. One o one o. Sorry. Uh, there's a TLS certificate type that is very specific. Uh, I, I'm not complaining, but I'm I'm asking why. Actually, okay, Michael, can we see the sentence that you were just pointing at about stuff being potentially lost? Ah, sorry. Um, yeah, I think it's important to keep that somewhere. The 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 line that you have highlighted, Michael. Maybe. Yeah, a, a reason to keep it somewhere could be the TLS certificate type list in the bottom because this is uh, how you actually do it and now imply that maybe somehow there is something, um, but having a, a, an explicit reference. So that would be a good reasoning, I think, for including the TLS CWT ID here. Otherwise, it's an ID. And so I think it has this emerging experimental, this will be in other things also. Flavor. If that's the intent, that's fine. If you have other, the intent is to reasons. say that not everybody uses TLS. There's TLS, there's DTLS, and then there's stuff that uses neither. And uh, each of those could be using one or more, depending on the uh, on what supports uh, of those diff of those different formats. Yeah, but 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 highlighting above that CWTs and X five four nine. Uh, pub key certs, for example, are somehow equivalent. That is still th something for people to digest in the ITF and maybe in the world outside properly, I guess. <laughs> so so uh, that there is something emerging there that is converging here that will be, ah, it's all the same in the end. Um, that is that is something that is not accepted by ISG effectively today. So uh, they will. I am relatively sure about that, but it will take one or two years. Still. So uh, so going with an idea is better than going with an idea here, uh, I think. So, um, Michael, the sentence that was in between what's now 1001 and 1003, do we need something to connect in your blank line there? There was a sentence in between in the red text up above. And I guess I could call it up on my own machine. but. Okay, such protocols typically already have mechanisms for passing security information for purposes of authentication. Okay, uh, all right. So, do we so need want a to, sentence want or not? I, I don't know. I was trying to figure it out. So, you just notice you have a blank line there that looks like it needs some connector. So, is um, the suggestion text? Oh. Yeah, because now you're getting closer to what to what. It, if you delete the blank line, then you're very close to what was in the red text before. Yeah, I think the blank line. I like the blank line. Okay. Myself. Okay. Like paragraph. Okay. That is just that is just okay. formatting. Um, do not worry about that, please. No, no, <laughs> paragraph. Yeah. Format, see. Paragraph. It's whether it's logically part of the same thought or not. That's what I was asking, and I think Michael mm. said no, it's not, and so yeah, that's fine. Okay. Um, you want just the red text. You just highlighted a bunch of the green text at the I bottom, know. too. Yeah. I know. I don't think I can highlight one without the other. <laughs> uh, it's difficult. You complained about that before. It's a pattern. Yeah. I think I want to do this. Uh, delete the bottom line there. TCG is not PC. Yeah, that or, is. Yeah, there you go. Um, now I don't know what the difference is other than exactly. I've screwed uh, it up. the indentation. I, I screwed it up because it wasn't a comment at all. Oh. <laughs> I think that's what I want. Gotcha. Um, I think your indentation may be off. I don't, I, I don't it's hard for me to parse this uh, edit to the edit, actually. I'm, yeah, gonna, yeah. I'm gonna, so, Michael, I'm, you need to indent up CA or two characters. Correct. Right. I need two TCG dice. Yep, exactly. Yes, there you go. Okay, I think that room say add suggestion to batch. Okay, so we're gonna go with this for now. All right. Well, let's um, do other people, I don't know if you've reviewed the green text starting at 1003. I did, but uh, I don't know if other people have. All right. So just I I think we can talk about that text 
right oh, yeah. now. You want to you want to commit the batch right now is yeah. what you're saying. Okay, yeah. yeah. Uh, Make a user review. I think the result is actually a good improvement. Uh, I see where this is coming from. I like the new references, especially, so uh, I'm fine with this. How about it? I'm going to mm -hmm. look yeah, at we the see it now. spacing of the top one. So. Okay. so now we have TCG Dice has still been added. Okay, good. Um, I like that. That's been reworked, but managed to lose managed to lose what the oh maybe i just need to refresh yeah I, that's why i refreshed on my own machine here so okay uh so we have the reference here to opc ua um tcg yep. dice down here so we kept this text and now we're talking about this point here Yeah, we will get the must and should feedback, right? So um, there's that. Um, so just a question uh, for somebody who's an expert at the TLS handshake. Um, in line 1020, I'm looking at the word may uh, in 1020, um, and I just want to understand, is there exactly two ways to do it, extensions and certificate types? Is that the meaning here? Yeah, you, you have to choose one or the other, but there's only two ways to do it. It's not those aren't for examples. The four examples are within those two things, but there's only two branches for um, for the TLS handshake extension. Is that right? Well, that that my what my limited imagination you know came up with. <laughs> <laughs> but yes, I think, no, I think I, I'm just for if the answer is yes, then the then the text is correct. Thank you. Yeah, point. Yeah, yeah. So I have to sneak it into the certificate so in a way that TLS doesn't notice. Right. right. Yeah, exactly. Or, you can you can do it outside of TLS all the time. TCS uh, TLS gives you uh, two vehicles. Yeah. Right. Yeah. Th okay. So it sounds like you're you're it, the text is correct as written. So thank you. Like I said, I read it the first time. I was happy with it. Just had to ask to clarify. Okay. So I want to commit this then. Sounds good to me. Um and I thanks have... so much for this write up. Cheers. But uh, 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 the, the, the topic was drop OPC UA, and yeah, Thomas, you're I, fine with the uh, result, it. yes? <laughs> I, I'm uh, in favor of, right? We're still in favor of DICE and TLS no, CWT. So. I think it was not making it central, right? And yeah, yeah. Also, okay. well, I, I mean, yeah, my yeah. point is we, we, have, we have ITF specs that you know, can illustrate the, the purpose of this. Yeah. Whereas we, we're referencing something that is, uh, you know, outside outside the ITF world and is behind a paywall and, you know, you know, making it a more... It, it's not behind ITF. a paywall. No? Is it not? It's, no. Yeah, no. it's better not. Yeah, it's it's not. Uh, I, I verified it when I added in the reference. So you, all, all, the te all, all the specs for the published ones are publicly available. So. Oh, okay, cool. But, right. but the rest of your point is correct, right? I, I agree. That's why I said it's improvement. Thank you. Okay, cheers. All right, so I stared at this two problems that I had had self-assigned a month ago, um, and then uh, uh, last night again. I think I looked at this three or four times, and I don't know what to do with this. Ned has helpfully or unhelpfully uh, explained the term, uh, but not in a way that I have any clue how uh, I would decide to put this in, right? <laughs> so, I mean, I wasn't vague on the term in the first place. It was... Um, guy's comment so i don't know what to do with this one and the other one um, is some i have not reviewed this issue here do you want to walk us through it no uh, we have three so minutes left or, sorry oh no, you're right work. there's only okay. three minutes left let's not okay i agree with you thank right. you so i say it's, it's a question of basically whether or not in this place whether these terms are well enough explained in this context uh, right i don't think i have an opinion in three minutes so. yeah all right well uh perhaps you'll we can uh, I need back. more than three minutes to figure it out. And then for yeah. out. <laughs> at least I can tell you which ones I had problems with. <laughs> uh, Ned did the same thing on this one. Um, so here he wants to know, is this a description of mutual authentication? The point is that the attester may first want it to authenticate or uh, have uh, uh, um, 
attestation from the the verifying party as to its ah, it, worthiness before it. So it, I think I uh, it, in the, the is this a description of mutual authentication? Answer: No. No, I don't think so either. So, because authentication and um, attestation are uh, diff have different meanings, meaning uh, you, one may imply the other, but they're not synonymous. So mm -hmm. it may be a describing mutual attestation. Yeah, you can do attestation without authentication if you have the anonymous attestation, and you can mm -hmm. certainly do auth authentication without attestation. So that's why neither is a superset of the other. So in one minute left, yeah. left, do should we be adding the term mutual attestation to the terminology, and then uh, re forward referencing this text? We have to discuss this next time, but we could discuss exactly that, I think. Mutual attestation okay. is uh, a uh, weird thing, and I think it's useful, but we can talk about this. I will prepare a poll request mm -hmm. doing that, and then we'll have something to argue about, okay? Mm -hmm. Fine. Fair enough. All right, so we're going to continue with this until, uh, you know, New Year's, as we start <laughs> getting out by the, during the year of the rat, and uh, uh, so next week, same time, all right? All right. Thanks to those who actually submitted pull requests since I did not, uh, I was on vacation, so I didn't do any. So thanks to the, those of you who did. Oh, yeah. Cheers. Maybe you saw some of our, uh -huh. our, all, but, some of our Canadian. Glad to make progress, though. Mm -hmm. All right. Bye. 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 Bye.